Well, well, well. We are back with the facts. Yes, I just said that. And now that I said that out loud, I regret it. But anyway, we're here at Top 10 Facts. And this time, we're going to be learning about Assassin's Creed. Again, as y'all, if y'all watched my last video, I'm recording this on a Chromebook. So if the video freezes, you know, pauses, buffers, I apologize. I don't know when my computer is going to get here, but it has not got here yet. So I guess this is um, what we're going to have to do with. And also, I apologize about the lighting. I have the closet light on and the bathroom light on. But like, for some reason, my grandparents, they don't like light bulbs. I'm guessing. I don't know. Because there's like four missing light bulbs that they just don't want to put in. I'm in my grandma's room recording this because my room's kind of being reconstructed right now. So I'm just doing it in here. I'm sorry if the camera is blue. Nothing I can do about it. I do apologize. Anyway. But like I said, top 10 facts about Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Assassin's Creed before. I haven't watched anyone play it. I think there's an Assassin's Creed movie. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. So I know absolutely... Sorry, my phone just went off. <laughs> I went. I know absolutely nothing about Assassin's Creed. So we're going to be learning some things today. We're going to be learning. Anyway, guys, y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. When Assassin's Creed was first released, players quickly noticed how similar the game was to previous Prince of Persia games. And that shouldn't come as a surprise, as in the beginning the game actually had the title Prince of Persia Assassins. In the game, players would play as the assassins rather than the prince himself and serve as his bodyguards. Interesting to note is that the game would have relied heavily on co-op gameplay, a feature that wouldn't make it into an Assassin's Creed game until the soon-to-be-released Assassin's Creed Unity. At one point in Assassin's Creed 2, you're asked to deliver a letter to a farmer. If you read the letter, it reveals that the farmer has, among other things, attacked his neighbors with a sword. It also states that he has committed crimes against God and nature, and then gives us a reference to a verse in the Bible. If we look up this section in the Bible, the verse in question states that no man or woman must have sexual relations with an animal. Wait, this is in the Bible? Why? Man. Somebody probably did some mess like this back in the day. Guys, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't. I didn't even know this was in the Bible, actually. And why did they put this in the game? I don't even know. So I guess he wasn't only attacking his neighbors with a sword. <laughs> Altair has only been shown without his hood on once in the entire series. It's during the memory lost legacy in Revelations when he talks to his son before closing himself inside a secret library. I mean, even when Ezio finds his remains many decades later, he is still wearing it. It's uh, fairly well known these days that most of the characters you assassinate as well as many other side characters were actual real people. Not only that, but the time and place of their death in the game is often very accurate. But there's even more to it than that as both the assassins and the Templars had existed. The real assassins were called Hashashin and existed during the Middle Ages. Just like in the game, they did indeed assassinate political figures and these killings were often conducted in broad daylight in full view of the public. Unlike the assassins in the game though, they did all this only to further their own interests and not for the good and free will of the people. The Templar Order in Assassin's Creed was called Knights Templar in real life and existed within roughly the same time period as the Hashashin. However, in real life, the these two groups were not enemies, in fact, as far as we can tell, they never even met. And their roles were kind of reversed as well because the Knights Templar developed safe trade routes, worked with people to forge alliances and to create a safe environment oh. for travelers. All the while, the Hashashin assassinated people for their own oh. benefit. 
That's a lot of assassins. As usual, if I find anything, rule 34 would. Wait, there's rules? 34 of them? I didn't know this game had rules. ...of the subject I'm covering, it just has to be included. It's basically the norm for my videos at this point. But I couldn't find anything about the... Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Well, hold up a minute, yo. Did my eyes just deceive me, or did I see what I think I just saw? Hold on, hold on. We got back this up. We got back this up. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Norm for my videos at this point, but I couldn't find anything about. We're just gonna move on. An actual Assassin's Creed porno. And hey, this is a family channel. Don't be typing that mess in. Of any kind. I got kids watching. And so, I guess that's a relief or a disappointment, depending on your sick and twisted fantasies. But it is possible that the main protagonist in Black Flag, Edward Kenway, is based on the lead character from the movie Pirates, one of the best-selling pornos of all time. It was released in 2005 and is a pornographic parody of the Pirates of the... What in the... What in the sexy Pirates of the Caribbean is going on here? Hold up. 2005. Yo, I gotta check out this movie. Hold up. Yo. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah, I'm definitely checking out this. After this video, I'm gonna watch this movie. Um, for science purposes, you know. Gotta see if the movie's good, you know. Not for any other reasons. Of the Caribbean movies. Aside from their uncanny physical resemblance, they also share the same first name, and the plot is, of course, about pirates. Intentional or not, who knows? In both Assassin's Creed 2 and 4, there's an Easter egg featuring a giant squid. Oh. Oh, shh. Yo, they're fighting. Hold up now. Squid, giant squid versus blue whale. If a giant squid and a blue whale fight, who do y'all think will win? I assumed a giant squid would win because, like, it just has these tentacles that it could just take out a, uh, a whale. Easy peasy. Assassin's Creed series also has quite a few references to other games. For example, in Brotherhood, Ooh. there's an achievement called Grand Theft. That was awesome. He just jumped from horse to horse. After dressage and a memory title, Castello Crashers. When Ezio meets his uncle Mario in Assassin's Creed 2, he says, Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! What? I cannot believe this mess. This man really... This man really did Mario's catchphrase. <laughs> okay. Okay. When Ezio reunites with Da Vinci, he finds what looks like a cardboard box, which is a reference to Metal Gear Solid. In the Black Flag, one of the naval contracts is named Papers, Please. You can also assassinate a pirate named Madcomb Seepgood, which is a reference to the secret of Monkey Island. You might have noticed that in the first Assassin's Creed, Altair is missing a finger on his left hand. He actually did this himself just to be able to use his hidden blade. The reason Ezio and subsequent assassins haven't done this is because Altair redesigned a weapon before his death so it could be used without the removal of a finger. The ship that Connor is the captain of in Assassin's Creed 3 is named Aquila, and Aquila is the name of a constellation in our galaxy, which is Latin for the word Eagle. The brightest star in that constellation is named Altair, and Ezio also means Eagle. 
it's very likely that Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs exist in the same universe. For oh, example, wait. in Assassin's Creed 4, you can hack into a computer and find a document where the company Bloom from the Watch Dogs is trying to pitch their CTOS to Abstergo. And for those of you who's played Watch Dogs who know that the CTOS plays a central role in that game. But the connection also goes the other way around, because in Watch Dogs you can hack into this CTOS system and actually spy on people. If you hack into a certain server, this sequence can be seen. Why is he doing that? He's an assassin, Dad. Well... I mean... Why is he talking to the guy he just killed? It's a confession? Well, that, that's just dumb. Dad, please! But that's kind of weird, right? If people in the Watch Dogs universe are playing an Assassin's Creed game, they can't be in the same universe, right? Well, that's what I thought too at first, until I realized something. And here it gets a little com complicated. If we go back to Black Flag, we are actually working for Abstergo Entertainment, and their primary product is a gaming console version of the Animus. In fact, the reason given to us for why we're even using the Animus in the first place is to gather footage for a new video game. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. In other words, Abstergo Entertainment are creating Assassin's Creed games within the Assassin's Creed games. So if the two games are connected, it actually would make a lot of sense. But if you're still not convinced, there's an even stronger connection. The CEO of Abstergo Entertainment is named Oliver Gernau. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau. And in an email, we learn that he'll be attending a meeting in Chicago, the city where Watch Dogs takes place. But he never arrives at the meeting and is declared missing. Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. In Watch Dogs, there's a mission where you actually assassinate him, thus explaining why he went missing in Black Flag. This guy's involved in some heavy shit. Patented genomes, genetic memory manipulation, sketchy pharmaceuticals. That is... That's interesting. Assassin Creed and Watch Dogs are in the same universe? I didn't even know that. I didn't even think of that. That's crazy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I learned some things about Assassin's Creed I didn't know. Which is not saying much because I didn't know anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier at the start of this video, or did I? I don't know. I can't remember. But I'll say it again just in case I forgot. The If you want to watch this on your free time, the link to the original video will be in the description below. You can check that out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Peace.